Hey guys, it's Perry here. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. And today we're going to be doing something here a little bit different. Today I'm going to give you a Patreon showcase. What's a Patreon showcase, you may ask? If you're not already a member of my Patreon, then you don't know about the thousand plus hours of video I already have on there. So today I'm going to show you one of many of the videos I have on my Patreon page. It's a movie review of the Indiana Jones film series that I did. So if you like this video, there's more of these videos and many more on this Patreon page if you visit the address below. Patreon.com forward slash Perry Caravello. DoorDash is showing up here with some food. Hello, uh, hi. I have a delivery for Terry. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a good, have a good night. night. Thank you. So that was the delivery from DoorDash. The food. Okay. Give me a big fucking bag from McDonald's. Let's see what's in this bag from McDonald's. Mamma mia. I wish McDonald's was... Stop sending me food. Okay. DoorDash from McDonald's. Okay. Here's the bag. Let's see what's inside the bag. We're going to plug this baby in. And, uh, let's, let's do that right now. Let's take off the mask. Take off the mask. And let's plug her in. And, uh, Okay, let's get you all over here. Get this light on. Alrighty. <clears throat> okay, hold on. I'll be back. Sit you right there. And in the bag. We got a cup of coffee over here. Yeah, I'll, I'll drink the coffee. And over here, I got probably the same crap they came the last time. Yeah. Two filet of fish sandwiches. Okay. Okay. We're good. So I'll, so I'll be eating that during the, uh, the uh, showing of uh, Indiana Jones, okay? Alrighty. So, and Indiana Jones will be coming on in about uh, just under 25 minutes or so, alrighty? Now let's set the bag over here for trash. Okay. Over and out. Well, look. What to say? That's it. Okay. Over and out. Oh, before I hang, before I uh, turn you off, I need to use the toilet right now. So let me, use a, let me go to the bathroom. You know, we, we're human, so we have to, you, you know, do, do our, uh, our, our uh, physical deeds, which means use the toilet. All right? So let me go do that, and I'll be back. Kabish? Thank you. Over and out. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Raiders of the Lost Ark starts in about 15 minutes. Uh, I just got my McDonald's filet of fish sandwiches and my cup of joe over here. Let's see. Uh, is it scorching hot or is it is it just right? Because normally the coffee from McDonald's is fire fucking hot. It was delivered, so uh, it's, it's warm. Okay. Here's here's the uh, here's the coffee, McDonald's uh, the McCafe, okay, and here's one fillet of fish sandwich. Add mustard, add pickle. I don't want add mustard and add pickle on my freaking fillet of fish. No, it's remove mustard, remove pickle. You fucking asshole. 
Oh, you're a jag off. You're a fucking jag off. Add mustard, add pickle. Fuck you. Scrape it off. Scrape it off. Scrape it off. I'm going to stall this right now, and then we'll go back to it. Okay, thank you. Stalling the camera. Add mustard, add pickle, you jag off. Fucking trash. He really wants me fucking sick. Stupid motherfucker. Okay. Never add mustard. Never add pickle. Two bits of poison in my body, in my system. Remove pickle. Remove mustard from a fucking fillet of fish sandwich. Never again do I want a McDonald's fillet of fish sandwiches. You go across the street to Carl's Jr. and you get get me fish sandwiches, or you get me barbecue chicken only, only barbecue chicken sandwiches. Jag off. Now, I will eat this on camera because you guys are a bunch of fucking morons and you want to see me eat some food on the fucking camera. So, while I'm here, I will turn this light on. On. I'll eat a freaking sandwich on the freaking camera. Just before 6 o'clock here, which is in 10 minutes when Raiders of the Lost Art starts, and then I'm going to pause the camera. Okay, here's a filet fresh. Mmm. Ah, mmm. Because that is when you, when you don't add all that shit to them. They're good sandwiches. Okay? All right. We'll talk. Yeah, they're over in 10 minutes for the regular one. Okay. Let's finish the first sandwich. Yeah, we can finish the first sandwich. And then rest a while. How does one get off this thing? No, I'll eat the second one a little later on tonight. So that's where we go. Sandwich one down. Black coffee's good too. Okay. Okay. Like I said, sandwich one is down now. Maybe one or two hours later, I'll eat the second sandwich, and that's all. I want no one sending me any more food tonight because if there is, I'll blacklist them. I'll fucking blacklist them. I'm tired of people sending me food at hours that I don't want to eat. Okay, especially these hours. Eat and sit on my ass and watch TV and get fat like, like the rest of this fucking world. Anyway, thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Raiders of the Lost Ark will be starting soon. So I'll be I'll be uh, doing reports on it every commercial break. Thank you. Okay, once again, as you can see on my bottom right portion of my uh, camera here on my on my uh, Samsung, 
you see the TV set. Okay, 23-inch Samsung TV. Okay, no big deal. What I'm going to be doing this evening is reviewing Raiders of the Lost Ark, the Temple of Doom, and The Last Crusade all together because they're all three movies that coincide with each other. Uh, and again, I, in, in like three minutes, Raiders of the Lost Ark will begin. This is the end of one of them. Um, I forget which, but they're, they're doing it like in two sets of, uh, of uh, films throughout today. So, um, yes, indeed, 6 p.m. Pacific Time, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I will be on commercial breaks, doing reviews, and uh, that's it. All right, folks. So I'll let you know when I uh, start the movie, and uh, that's how it goes. All right, gang. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good night. Okay. As Raiders of the Lost Ark opened up, he got into a ton of traps in the film, okay? Uh, there was a guy that worked with him, I guess, going through the, the forest and stuff, and uh, all these wild and crazy traps. Well, I guess the guy that he was working with uh, swam out to the to this Red Baron style airplane, you know, a, a double winger with uh, two seats. Back seat is the is the pilot seat. From a co pilot seat, the front seat is the pilot seat. So when uh, Harrison Ford, uh, Indiana Jones, swam out to the airplane, he he grabbed onto the back, got onto the uh, the ski portion because they're in the water. He got onto the right side the ski and uh, worked his way up to the front seat. Got into the front seat, and uh, there's a garden snake in the front seat. You know, snakes with beautiful colors on it and stuff. And uh, he didn't like, he got scared and didn't like snakes. And, and the guy in the back says, oh, well, relax. It's it's a, hey, you know, it's not going to kill you. So that's where they're at right now. This is a uh, movie just began. I had one filet of fish. I'm not going to eat anymore for another hour, maybe two. Uh, yeah, it's getting cold, but that's okay. I'll eat, I'll eat it cold. Um, but that's how this movie is beginning, okay? This is an action film. It's an amazing film. This is one of three Raider, Raider of the Lost Ark movies, and I will be reviewing all three of them up late again. I can't stand that, but what can you do? What can you do? All right. All right. So we're going to call it right now. It's only a couple minutes in. Okay. Again, this is one of three. Raiders of the Lost Ark. The first film. I believe it came out in the 80s. I forget what year exactly. I'll look on my... Uh, oh, here we go. Let's turn around. What year did you come out? Okay, I'll read this off the TV set. It says, Raiders of the Lost Ark. 1981, thank you very much. Globetrotting uh, architectural Indiana Jones races the Nazis for possession of a legendary uh, religious artifact. Harrison Ford, Karen Allen, Paul, whatever his face is. And, that, and it's a four-star movie, so we know it's a real good movie. Okay? That's where we're at. Okay. So I will be back to Raiders. Thank you. Good day. Chucky Chicken Noodle. That was it! Camel's Chucky.
ridiculous absolutely positively fucking ridiculous i will not take this food that just came to me right now from mcdonald's and fucking eat it there is no more food to be sent to me tonight fucking no more motherfucking food sent to me tonight because if there is it goes straight to the fucking wall Straight to the fucking wall, because I want no more fucking food sent to me at all. Motherfuckers, stop sending me fucking food. Good day, you cocksuckers. And ketchup had shredded less. Okay. Not add mustard. <laughs> okay. This is what I like. If you're going to send me fish, add ketchup, add lettuce. Not a bunch of fucking mustard and, and garbage that I'm allergic to. Add ketchup, add lettuce. Thank you. Okay? I'll eat. I'll take a bite out of one of these. Because I am fuller than fuck. From what was spent to me earlier. But see, see, ketchup and, I mean, lettuce and ketchup. Yeah, thank you. Okay? Take a bite of this. No tomato, no pickle, no mustard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll finish that later. Still tartar sauce. I don't like that. I'll finish that later. Thank you. Back to Indiana Jones. Yeah. If you have any more fucking food sent to me, or you know anyone else that's sending me food, you tell them no more motherfucking food! You understand me? Son of a bitch. Look, guys, fans, friends, whoever, whoever keeps sending me food, why? I'm trying to remove review a movie, you stupid fucking assholes. Stop sending me fucking food, all right? Again, no more food at all tonight. No more food, actually at all. No more food. I'm done eating. The night's over for me. I'm trying to review a fucking movie, not eat food, assholes. Thank you. Good day or good night. Bye. <laughs> That's all. It's the bullet. No! 
No, take it back. Take it back. Thank you. Some jag off tried delivering McDonald's again. And I said, no, take it back. Take it back. Gabish, no more fucking food. I'm done with food tonight. Stop sending me fucking food. You understand me? Stop sending me food tonight. No more fucking food. These fucking assholes. <clears throat> and if you don't like the fact that I'm turning you down... You want to waste money? That's your fucking problem. DoorDash, uh, I just sent them away. He just, uh, you know, he comes to my door. I says, who is it? He says, DoorDash. I says, what is it? He says, McDonald's. I says, take it back. Don't want it. Stop sending me food. I got to review a fucking movie. Not one, not two, but three movies. You fucking assholes are fucking me up on my movie review. Fuckers, stop. Stop, stop. Thank you. McDonald's came to my door again with DoorDash. I says, take it back. Take it fucking back. No, no, no. Wrong, wrong, fucking wrong. I am done with fucking food coming to my house tonight. God damn it. Stop sending me fucking food. Goodbye. Again, I am tonight reviewing Raiders of the Lost Ark, Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, what is it, Temple of Doom, and then Raiders of the Lost Ark, Last Crusade. Three Raiders together, right now, I'm working on this, but what happens, I get a DoorDash coming to my door, not once, not twice, not three times, but four times, sending me food, what is it, they're sending me McDonald's? Uh, filet of fish sandwiches and, and, and cups of coffee. I am done with food. Stop sending me fucking food. Stop sending me at all tonight. Don't bother me. I have movie reviews to do. Stop sending me anything. Damn it. Just watch the movie review when it's done. Because I'm, I'm busy right now. Stop sending me food. I got movies to review. End of story. Stop, 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 stop. All done. Thank you. Good day. All right. The first, I don't know, half hour of uh, Indiana Jones. Um, A lot of intrigue is going on. There's a lot of uh, action happening. And uh, uh, Indy, as well as uh, this this girl, he was a school teacher for a while, and uh, now he got caught in the covenant of uh, where I guess the uh, so-called uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark covenant is, and uh, now he's underground, and she fell in the hole. There were more or less they pushed her. This uh, girl, I guess they call her name uh, Miriam in the movie, she fell into the hole and right into uh, Indiana Jones' hands. So uh, we'll, we'll see what's going on here. It's very intriguing, a very deep film. All three of these movies are very deep movies, but uh, there's a ton of action, which is what makes it kind of exciting, kind of like a James Bond movie. So uh, we're going to pick it up uh, right now. Okay. Going back to the movie. I know it's commercial break right now, but we're going back to the movie. Thank you. Okay. Now we're at another commercial break. Now, because of all the interference during the first, uh, what is it? Um, first almost hour of the movie of Raiders in the Lost Ark, 
I missed a lot of it because of being interfered by people coming to my house with food, me dumping my trash, and uh, just all sorts of other garbage. Um, there's there's a lot of uh, misconceptions that I'm uh, uh, unable to uh, assess right right now in the first almost 50 minutes of the film or, or 55 minutes of the film. Um, they're out in the desert. This is like the, the, I would figure this is around the end of World War II era. Uh, around 1946 is what they're trying to make it look like. Out in a, in a, in a um, with Nazi Germany and against Indiana Jones. And they're uh, doing some crazy stuff out in the desert. And uh, they're, they're still searching for for the, the Ark of the Covenant or also known as Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is the Ark of the Covenant and, and all that good stuff. So um, let me get back to the movie and do what I can to assess what I uh, missed and what I uh, don't remember of this film. But I do, I do remember this of this movie, Indiana Jones, also known as Harrison Ford, Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is the name of the movie, um, does amazing stunts in this film, and there's a lot of action, a lot of action, and it's an incredible movie. It, that's what makes it such a special film. And it's just a movie that you don't want to miss. This one, uh, um... The, the Temple of Doom, as well as The Last Crusade, are the three awesome Raiders of the Lost Ark movies, and they're playing them all together, A, B, C, right now. So let me get back to the Raiders movie, and I will uh, fill you back in in the next commercial break on uh, what I assessed. Well, you know, they're out right now. They're out in the desert. Uh, the Miriam, which was the, the girl that was with, uh, with Indy, um, she got, uh, a kind of messed up with, uh, getting captured and then, uh, all of a sudden slipping through a hole and the hole was like through, through, uh, um, <clears throat> a hillside, which led her into, um, like, like 20 or 40 feet down, which is where Indy ended up being and he caught her and it's just really exciting stuff. So... Again, let me get back to the movie after commercial breaks, and we'll go from there. Thank you. Back to Raiders over here. Let me mute the volume behind me. Okay, now, there's a lot of action going on in this film. Uh, and it's, they're, they're uh, searching for the Lost Ark around the Cairo area. And uh, if they find it, they find it. But right now they're uh, still searching. So things are uh, getting deep and uh, very interesting in this movie. It's 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 a all three of these movies are very deep films. So, but but the action is what's the cool part about the movie. The plot is very deep plot, but the action is what's really cool. Okay, thank you very much. I'm gonna get the old. The grandpa, the reading, you know, the the old man stuff back in in my play, meaning my my eyes, my glasses. Okay, going back to the glasses and the and the old man here. Yeah, old man. Ow! Oh! Okay, so sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to show that. Okay, glasses. We're gonna we're gonna cut it right now. Okay, thank you. Very interesting. They they're they're. They're chasing around and, and uh, looking for a, uh, um, actually, I'm being dumbfounded right now because uh, I'm kind of fading in and out, getting real sleepy and stuff. So they're, they're chasing around in the uh, country of Greece. They were just a moment ago in Venice, Italy. Now they're somewhere in Greece and uh, they could be in Austria. So who knows what's happening? But they're 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 chasing every which way, trying to find the uh, the um, 
Holy Grail or the uh, uh, the, the 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 Covenant, some something like that. I, I don't know. I'm getting stupid right now because I'm very sleepy because of the time of night it is. It's almost midnight over here. Oh, just a little bit before. So it's just late. That's all I can tell you. All right. Thank you. Now, Indy and his father, Sean Connery, uh, in the movie, were escaping, and how they were escaping was uh, away from the the, uh, the Nazis, the German Nazis. Was uh, they got on a uh, um, a motorcycle with a little sidecar? So Harrison Ford, aka Indiana Jones was the driver of the uh, motorcycle. Now, this is like back in the 1940s, okay, the the, the, the time period. And uh, back in the World War II era with uh, Nazi Germany and stuff. And uh, his, his old man, Sean Connery, uh, a.k.a. Dad, um, in the movie, were, uh, it, was side, it was Indiana Jones driving the motorcycle and Sean Connery in the sidecar. So they were weaving in and out, and uh, it was pretty interesting in, in the scenes that we're going through right now. So again, they're they're escaping uh, Germany and Austria, and uh, uh, portions of Greece and portions of uh, Venice, Italy. So they're they're doing an amazing job. This is this is an amazing film. It's very deep. So it's it's just it's it's a very deep portion of the movie. So, uh, and I got a couple more hours to go here. Yeah, we got like two hours to go. So, uh, or an hour and a half to go over this uh, film. This is Indiana Jones Part 2, which is called The Last Crusade. Before we go to the Temple of Doom, which is the final chapter three of Indiana Jones. Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Okay. Now, Harrison Ford and Sean Connery... Indiana Jones and Indiana Jones's father got in the blimp, also known as the Led Zeppelin, I'm believing, and uh, Harrison Ford, no, not, yeah, Harrison Ford got into a fight with one of the uh, Nazis that was looking for the two on the blimp, and he punched the Nazi so well that he knocked the Nazi out the window of the blimp. And the guy fell on the ground, you know, like two, three stories down. Fell on the ground outside the blimp on a bunch of uh, luggage that was like a, a bunch of garbage and stuff. And uh, then the blimp just started to take off in the air. Boom, and now commercial break. So we'll, we'll get into it from uh, that point on. So that's it on this scene of Indiana Jones Part 2, The Last Crusade. Okay. Okay. I'll get back into the movie in just a moment. Thank you. Now, as Harrison Ford and, and his old man, Sean Connery, are escaping the Nazis, uh, the, the scene that they were just shooting was uh, a portion where they... Um, what happened? Oh, it was, it was, forgive me. Um... Excuse me again. Uh, they they uh, they they went from getting on the on the Led Zeppelin, and below the Led Zeppelin, as they were escaping the Led Zeppelin, was a bi wing plane. They got on the bi wing plane and started to escape from the bi wing plane, meaning meaning a double layer, double decker uh, wing uh, aircraft, two seater. With a propeller in the front. Okay. Um, so then they started getting chased in that. Then when they crashed that plane, they they left that plane and then uh, came across some guy changing in the tire of, of his car. Right after he finished changing the tire of his car, the, both both Sean Connery and, and uh, um, Harrison Ford, meaning Indiana Jones and his father, Jumped in that car right on time, right as the guy's putting his hubcap on the car. Started the car up and took off. 
to get away. And then they went from that to uh, another aircraft, I believe. I'm getting a little little late. You know, it's, I'm getting a little stupid right now because of it being so late. Um, and and uh, the, the escaping scenes are really cool. So they're, they're doing what they can to escape from where they're at. So it's a very interesting film. Uh, a lot of action. Go get uh, a hold of uh, watching this movie, Indiana Jones and the uh, the uh, Last Crusade. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Now, Indy's father is inside the tank, and the Germans got him. So Indy's got uh, what is he's got? Like four horses that he's uh, you know um, crowding with himself on on the fifth horse. And uh, uh, there's there's the other guy that's on a bunch of camels, or you know he's on one camel and he's trucking along with uh, like four or six other camels, and they're going after the uh, the tank. And uh, right now, it's like I, like you uh, can see, we're at commercial break. So when we get back on the uh, the the movie over there, we'll see what happens. Okay. Great film, great, 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 great film. But we know that uh, Indiana Jones as well as Sean Connery are going to fight. They're going to weasel their way out of uh, getting getting uh, murdered by these guys, otherwise known as, you know, as I say, these guys, otherwise known as the Nazis that uh, have zero respect for people. Eyes on, camera off. Thank you. I'm I'm sorry. The uh, the Nazis are after the uh, the uh, uh, the the Temple of Doom in this last crusade. So uh, let's see what happens. Okay, they're they're still after the the um, I don't know some 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 gold artifacts or the gold cross, something like that. It's something that's worth a lot of money. I don't know. I don't know. Little, little, whatever. We'll see what happens. We'll get back to the movie. Okay, thank you. Again, this movie. Uh, I'm getting real sleepy, so I'm I'm kind of conking out. I, I might miss the last uh, of the uh, of the the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I might miss the last one, but this movie is so incredible. So incredible with uh, the filming and everything. Um, I don't even know what to say. Uh, it's just, it's just all the 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 tank fighting and and the plane fighting and and the getting away from getting caught by the Nazis and and all those people that are out to catch. Uh, Sean Connery as uh, the Raiders of, as Indiana Jones's father in The Last Crusade so this is just an extremely well intense film um, how much time do I have left I got about a half an hour left to this movie I'm going to do what I can to stay up for the next film, but uh, it's just an incredible movie. All three of them are, and uh, I'm just going to get back to it. That's it. Glasses back on, hat off, and we're going to watch the rest of this film here. Okay, thank you. Incredible movie. Right as the Lost Ark, The Last Crusade. Okay, so they just announced in the movie... The name of God is Jehovah. It's it's another film that brings up Jehovah God's name. <clears throat> um, I don't understand why Jehovah's Witnesses only have a little over eight and a half million baptized witnesses. There should be eight and a half billion baptized witnesses. With a movie like this behind me on on TV. Raiders of the Lost Ark and the Last Crusade just shows you the name of God is Jehovah. Duh. 
well, if the name of God is Jehovah, why don't we start having more Jehovah's Witnesses as true witnesses? You know, it's just people, people will do what they can to downplay Jehovah's Witnesses and talk smack about Jehovah's Witnesses. But that's another reason why I like watching the Raiders of the Lost Ark, because they keep saying, you know, uh, the name of God is Jehovah. All right, I'm going to get back to the film here after I use the toilet and uh, watch the rest. Okay, eyes on, hat off. Thank you. Good day. Wait. Grandpa hair. Okay, hat on. Off. As Indiana Jones and the... Uh, Last Crusade, or excuse me, yeah, 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 this is the Last Crusade, it's the second one. As the Last Crusade ends, uh, Indy lost his girl from the little earthquake that happened inside the, uh, the cave. Um, she tried grabbing the, the cup of the holy grail and the cup kind of slipped out of her hand and fell into the rock well um and now they're right now escaping from the uh from the mountain as the sun sets um bottom line amazing film amazing amazing film Amazing film. Uh, I'm just a little brain dead. It's that late. So, all right. I'm going to be acting a little stupid for the the next Indiana Jones and the... Uh, well, what is the next Indiana Jones? The next Indiana Jones is... Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Filmed in 1984, 1984, but in 1935, archaeologist Jones, Harrison Ford, a lounge singer, Kate Capshaw, and a Chinese orphan, Ki Hu Quan, search for mystical stones, uh, um, stolen. Yeah, mystical stones stolen. So, that's what's coming up. All right, I'm going to do what I can to stay awake for this one. All right, folks. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye bye. I'll be tuning. I'll be coming back during uh, commercial breaks to fill you in with what I can remember from what I see. All right. Thank you. As Doctor Jones, Indiana Jones uh, starts in the third movie. He's uh, fighting off with uh, one, one. Uh, uh, person after another, and, and and now he he a girl and some little Asian boy who helps Doctor Jones get away. They get away over to an airport, and then they get thrown into an airplane, which is this guy's airplane. So that's where they're at right now. So they're they're on this guy's uh, private uh, air freight. So that's where we're, that's where we're at right now. So we'll 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 catch up. We'll wake up. We'll catch up. That's all. Thank you. Excuse me, but this is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Thank you. This movie is actually the second movie, and the last movie we saw uh, was the last movie of the three. They 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 flipped the second movie and the last movie that was uh, the Indiana Jones three films in their little movie series uh, to mess with our brains and to make us look stupid. Um... This movie, they're they're in search of a stone, and the stone was stolen from um, an Indian uh, relic 
off of, uh, oh shit, forgive me, yeah, it's late, and I'm getting very forgetful right now, so, uh, let me get back to the TV set after I use the toilet again, all right, I'm just sleepy, it's late, anywho, all right, bye. So, I'm just gonna say that Indiana Jones right now is trying to teach Shorty how to get along with the local people and trying to teach his chick in the film how to get along with the local people and on how to eat their foods and stuff. So it's it's kind of a funny section of the of the, of uh, Indiana Do Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So that's actually the second movie that was made. Not the last movie. The last movie that we saw was the last movie. But yeah. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Get back to that in just a moment, okay? They're they're, they're you know uh, having some problem have problems and different adventures going on in the uh, in the uh, castle or in the uh, homes and stuff. I should leave the uh, camera on while I while they start you know going into the movie and I'll talk about it. So I think I'll do that right now, actually. Move the camera on. Wait for the movie to start, and then I will turn you off. Okay. Jack Daniels commercial. You don't need to have any Jack. I'm not interested in Jack. All these commercials are a pain in the ass. But you gotta deal with them. Jeez. Anyway. Commercial, commercial, commercial. What do you do? Just to spend, just for the money to come in to keep the movie going. That's why they make these commercials. More commercials, more money. Stations making their money. Shoot a 30 second commercial and bam, thousands of dollars for a 30 second commercial each and every time. You believe this garbage? More commercials. Did you guys get back to the movie over here? Mamma mia, you know, another freaking commercial. Get back to the fucking movie, assholes. Get tired of this crap. Ah, I don't. Look at this. More commercials. Commercial, commercial, commercial. 15 second, 30 second. Okay, it's after it's after you know 1:30 in the morning, so the commercials are cheaper at this hour. But uh, still, it's just all these commercials that they shoot during during these these times. Look at us, another freaking commercial. I mean, come on, get back to the freaking film. Mamma mia, I mean, come on already. And another commercial. What the fuck? Verizon. And now it's babes. Live cam. Like, I give a shit. I'm not interested. Mamma mia. Come on already. And another commercial. My God. Zillow. Mamma mia, please, already. And another commercial. Draft King. Wow. 
How many more commercials are we going to be seeing before we get back onto the, onto the shoot? This is actually getting funny. Movie. Finally. Let's see. Now they're in a cave right now. It's like a um like uh like they're in India or 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 some what they're doing like uh an Indian burial cave. Some pagan worship again. They're worshiping Kali. Yeah, see, they're, they're, this, this, all these skulls and crazy crap. It's really, it's really, Have you ever seen anything like this before? really spooky. Nobody's seen this for a hundred years. Yeah, it's, it's crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff. Alright, alright. Talking about the... Uh, Put somebody, somebody inside this uh, cage here, and and uh, have him float over this burning fire. This is some scary stuff. And they actually do this shit in places like that over there. Oh, this is scary. Yeah, this is some scary stuff. I'm going to pause you. Mute the volume on that, and then I'm going to pause you so I can get back into watching this. All right, this is some scary stuff. Okay. Okay. So these these demonic guys kidnap Indy's girl, and they're going to put her in this basket cage thingamajiggy and hang her over... Uh, um, what are they doing? They're they're gonna hang her over the the uh, the the fire, the steam, and uh, well, they got Indiana Jones possessed right now, and he's wearing some uh, this 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 Indian paint stuff on his face, but uh, it's not that bad. It's just like a big U over his in between his eyes, like it's not fully Indian paint on his face but uh, they're, they're and then Shorty's uh, trying to get himself free himself from this this jailhouse that they got them in they got this girl the girlfriend now locked up on this uh, cage this you know this uh, like chicken wire cage but it's not chicken wire chicken wire is thin this is this is thick you know, like sheet wire or sheet metal. 
Well, now, now the kid just escaped. And he's, uh... And now Indy, Indy's trying to get her locked into this little basket. And then she's going to be floating over this basket of uh, steam that's going to actually uh, kill her if, uh, if they don't get her out of there. But Indy's right now possessed. And he doesn't realize this because he's... He's still possessed under their spell, their Indian spell, whatever spell they put him under. But it's uh, one of those Talhead spells. Scary stuff. Scary, scary stuff. Anywho, the the kid the kid got out and he's climbing a ladder. Um. He's going to push the ladder over so he can get to the other side. A little stunt. So now he's climbing up and in, in a different section. Now this is some uh, try to escape. This is some pretty interesting stuff. Now again, she's inside this basket. This flat, you know, like basket where your arms are up and you're locked in a in a cage thingamajiggy and, and they're floating her over this furnace this open fire furnace it's scary it's deadly and it will kill you if you're over that long enough And these people are dancing around these these Talhead or these Talhead people are are dancing around it, and it's like they're they're doing a satanic worship, and and they're lowering her in the over this uh, fiery furnace, and uh, she's getting burned up. Now the kid is with Indy, and he just smacked the kid. He doesn't realize what he's doing. The kid's escaping. The kid's gonna start burning stuff. Yeah, this is this is a very important part of the film. Part two. The kid just said, "I love you," and he he's burning Indy to wake him up. Now the kid just got kidding, just got caught by one of the little Talhead guys. He's about ready to cut Indy's, or cut the kid's throat. Now the kid and Indy, Indy just woke up. And he's acting like he didn't wake up, but he got the kid. So he's beating up on the uh, Talhead guys. And now the kid's beating up on the Talhead guys as well. So now, now they're getting uh, real excited here. Okay, now, now, uh, and he's, uh, now, now the girl's dropping down to the fire. And he's fighting these guys. And he's knocking uh, one guy after another into the fire. Yeah, this is a pretty exciting spot. All right, let me get, let me get back to this, and we'll we'll talk later. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, now this Indian kid, also known as the Talhead kid, uh, kind of woke up after after this fight that they're all going through inside this uh, uh, this this underground cave slash tunnel of uh, some sort that they're all fighting in and stuff, and uh, he finally woke up. After getting burned and, and told the told Shorty how to get out of the tunnel, uh, and Indiana Jones has woken up from his uh, demonic uh, uh, seance slash the way he was possessed demonically. So now they're they're uh, gonna get out of this uh, tunnel with all this paganism going on and stuff, and uh, seek to escape. 
So that's where they're at at this moment in time. So that's it. All right. And we got, this is actually the second movie. The, la the last movie was played second today for me after uh, the, the, the first movie. We went from the first movie to the last movie and now the middle film, which was done stupidly. It should have been the first, second, and the last movie should have closed. I don't know how these stupid people at the studios like to do things. Anyhow, I'm staying up. We're almost done. We got another half an hour to go. So I'm staying up. All right, kids. Thank you. Okay, now this portion of the film is where they got uh, chased through this uh, train track area in in the cave. Okay, and uh, and uh, these these towel heads were chasing after uh, Indy and his girlfriend and and uh, Shorty and and uh, um the little train car got. Got, uh, you know, another train car chasing after the train car with Indy and his girl and the and Shorty. And so, so they were go all going through the train track thingamajiggy. So that's where they're at right now. They're, they're still, uh, going through, uh, the uh, cave and stuff. But, uh, at least Indy is Indy rather than possessed by these, uh, towel heads with this, uh, demonic uh, satanic, you know, possession that they had them under. Yeah, the movie should be on for another 15 minutes. Okay. All right, folks. Thank you. This is the second of the three films. <laughs> and they had the, 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 the closer movie film second. Anyway, well, we'll get this uh, movie going. Bye. So now Indy just finally made it to the other side of the bridge. Uh, his girlfriend and, and uh, Shorty got to the other side of the bridge. Uh, and Indy had the rock with the three lines in the rock for, like, strength. All these crazy Indian or Talhead... Uh, uh, seances and stuff. I don't know. They're, they're just stuff I don't get into, but, uh, certain things are, were for strength and whatnot, but that's what that rock was to represent strength with the, <coughs> with the, uh, with, with the, uh, three white lines in it. Anywho. That's it. The movie is basically over now. Yeah, the credits are rolling. So, part two is over. Indy's making out with his uh, blonde girlfriend. And that's it. And all the kids are gathering around Indy. So then, uh, that, that's it. That's it. Okay. Indiana in the uh, Temple of Doom is over good night thank you thank you for uh being a part of my uh movie reviews um i will be checking in with uh mr tom brennan tomorrow sometime to uh review all all three uh films of indiana jones and uh we'll we'll, we'll do a good uh breakdown of all the uh, movies um I didn't like the way Paramount that's the station I didn't I do not like the way Paramount did it they did the first movie they did the last movie and then the second movie no it should have been the first second movie the second movie then the last movie maybe that's how they set it up earlier today I don't know but anywho um that's it all right it's uh late I'm tired and time for bed. Okay, folks. Good night and have a pleasant holiday weekend or holiday week, whatever you want to call it. 
because this, these are the holidays, and uh, that's just what's going to be going on. I got to get my hair done. As you can tell, my hair is going old, like I look and like I feel and like I act. Old. Oh, I'm old. All right, guys. We'll talk on uh, the next movie review. Okay, folks? And this is Perry Caravello, better known as Scary Perry, over and out. Eyes on, camera off. Good night. I hope you like this video because there's more like it on Patreon. So visit patreon.com forward slash Perry Caravello. Thank you.